There's two types of guards for Muay Thai. Two main ones. So you got this one and this one. This is the traditional Thai guard. And this is the kickboxing slash Dutch slash K1 style. There's pros and cons for each. So if you wanna, uh, if you wanna find out which one's best for you, firstly, which one, one will naturally appeal. And then secondly, I'll tell you the technical side and then you can choose one. Eventually, you want to, you want to uh, have both and, and mix and match depending on who you're sparring or fighting. So you want to have both tools, but first get good at one. So I'll explain the pros and cons of each. The, the tr traditional tie guard, the guard is high. The reason why it's high, elbows are higher. Now if I had it down here, look where my elbows are, they're, they're pretty far. But if I'm up here, it's going to be easier to elbow. My hands are open. This is good for, easier for parrying, keeping someone at a, at a distance. This is good if you're tall, tall opponent. So you can parry much easier. You can clinch, engage in the clinch much easier. So I parry, I grab someone, my hands are already open. This is good for balance. So when you're kicking, your arms are out, kneeing, you're gonna have a little bit better balance. The, the, may, the main drawback is punches are not gonna be hard. So from here, because you don't have that full acceleration, the distance, pop, 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 punches are gonna be a little weaker. Also, uh, there's one extra step that you have to do. So when you punch, you gotta clench your fist, as opposed to the other guard when your fist is already clenched. So from here, you, it's, the punches aren't as good. Now the, the kickboxing guard, it's not any less, it's just as good. And normally, I, normally people starting off, I usually give them this guard. It's easier, it gets you going more, it's a, a lot less nuanced, um, and it usually suits punches. So from here, instead of having a, a, a flared out guard like that, like the tie, this one is straight down. So your, so your elbows are pointing down. This acts as a bar. So it should be rock hard, not loose, not like that, rock hard. The fist is clenched, touching the, the temple or cheekbone. So we're here and not like this. So not palms facing in, that's, that's a weak position. The blade of the bone, you want it facing out. So we're like that, yep. Strong legs. Um, now the, the pros with this, amazing for a punch combination. So we're here, pow, 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 pow. it's just beautiful, easy, a lot of power. Good, good for uh, being aggressive, so if you want to hunt and go straight in, you can duck and weave, little ducks and weaves, you know, it depends if you're doing kickboxing or Muay Thai, but you can, you can, you can move laterally a little bit more and, uh, and come straight in and take shots on the arms. Uh, and this is easier defense-wise, so you have to think a little less. So if you're going to choose a guard, just go with what appeals and if if um and pick one so just pick one and get good at one when you do the tie guard remember this is very important the part the the fingers press press them in together and the thumb most people do this open hand is very weak right and then some and get into the habit of clenching your fist especially when you shadow box or hit bags clenching your fist fully when, when you make contact a lot of people just hit with the fingers so don't do that keep the fingers strong the other guard the dutch style guard the kickboxing guard, keep the keep the hands clenched. Well, the closer you are, when you're in a when you're in a zone where it's a threat, like you're about to fight, the guy can reach you, clenched and firm. When you're further back, you can have them loose, like open hands and up. So you're not you're not exerting energy, you're not wasting energy. So at a distance, you can have them up like this. See how I'm open, and then when I get close, I'll, I'll clench them. This, the forearms and the bicep is tense. It's flexed. The shoulders are loose. This is a, a little nuance, but it makes a big difference. A lot of people do this. They tense their traps. You want to relax that, tense this, and if I move, it's like suspension because my shoulders, this is tense, my forearm is like flexed, my wrist is straight, be careful not to bend it in like that. You, you bust up your wrist, you know, with heavy punches, relax the shoulders. And then for both guards, if you want way more power, this makes a difference, and you can tell just instantly by trying this out, is crunch the stomach, squeeze the butt. So 
The stomach is tense. The butt is tense. The, the shoulders are loose. The forearm is tense. The limbs, uh, the, the limbs are loose when you throw them out. When you connect, they're tense. You don't have to get that on the first day, but if you're just exposed to it and you know that's, that's, that's what it's meant to be, then um, you can look for it as you go along. So I hope that helps.